Hey everyone, Ampro Engineering here, and the Midnight Pumpkin is back for another upgrade. This time it's going to be purely cosmetic, though I think, at least for me anyway, it was a major improvement in the truck style. First things first, you know, who can say anything bad about this particular Ford pickup? I mean, this is probably one of my favorite years of the Ford truck, and to me it did just a remarkable job on its design. Well, I almost uh it's it's nearly perfect but to me i screwed up on one one small area and let's see if you can figure out where that is oh, oh wait there we go you recognize these guys here can we get that under you recognize that Okay, the tail lights. For me, this was always a point of contention. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm from California and this truck here, if you live in California, uh, you're gonna see them at every single car show that you go to, not just one, but maybe about 3,000. They're all over the place. On top of that, I see these trucks being used as work vehicles to this day, and they all have tail lights that are not the same as these miserable units that they came with they had well let's take a look something more akin to this what you're looking at here is my original prototype of the correct tail light available for this particular four truck body style um, this uh, I, I do want to say it's a prototype because the if i can get a little closer here um, this was uh, created using i can recall now this is the uh, clear acrylic option at Shapeways. I no longer offer this because although it came out really nice, the uh, Ford script wasn't spectacular. I mean, it came out, it, it's, it's, you know, from over here, it, it, you know, looks great. But this here is my production model and I'm going to do my best to zoom in here. I don't know how well the camera's going to do it. This is the production model. This is done using the ultra detail plastic. And there's a couple of benefits to this. Number one, the fogginess of the plastic allows you to uh, not only use this as a cosmetic piece, but these little holes you, or that you can kind of see right there, you pop a five millimeter LED into these here from the inside of the truck body, and you have functional taillights. This means that from the outside of the pickup, let me compare it to the one I just tossed, from the outside of the pickup, my version of the tail light is actually much thinner. Okay. And again, the, um, the, the clear acrylic doesn't really have a great finish. It's got, I think you can see it on the camera. It's got kind of a little step pattern. This version here, I mean, it, it's, it's remarkable. I mean, this one looks like it's molded plastic. Nevertheless, so you can see that it'll go right in here. And the beauty is the, standard tailgate already has and i'm going to grab a broken one here it already has this little notch so what you want to do is chop off the well fact of the matter is most likely your tail light's missing anyway just because they're you know they're that good if it's not, if it's not missing then you have to do what i did on this one here and it was just heartbreaking is just very carefully slice it off that was just the saddest thing in the world anyway cut it off and take a Dremel and just grind this boss out. Just get rid of it. And you're gonna be left with a, uh, you know, just kind of shave it out until it's level with this back face because that'll allow you to have a tail light that fits right into that notch. Now, for those of you who don't have your pumpkin straight in front of you or don't even own one, uh, this notch in the body where the tail light is protruding is there for this little boss. So there's zero modification done to the body and all you have to do is cut the tail lights off. As for the electronics, oh, I dropped hubcat. As for the electronics, um, and this is just something I made here, I went ahead and just plugged in a five millimeter LED. In this case, it's a red uh, high output LED, popped it in the side, and this red uh, that you see here is liquid electric tape. And I stress to you that if your body is a lighter color, in this case here, this orange, this is a white ABS body. I know that they have the uh, the black version of the pumpkin. I don't think that's gonna be a problem with the black version, but the white one it is. When I first put this in, uh, there was a slight glow through the body. So that was pretty remarkable because it, it, it was bright enough to actually glow through the paint, through the ABS, through the paint on the other side. 
and uh, and make a little orange uh, glow from the LED. So I pulled the back off, I covered it with black paint, then I put this back in, the LED back in, and covered it again with liquid electric tape. The overall housing I painted in a couple of coats of silver, and the reason for the silver is, well, these are supposed to be chrome, so silver is about as close as you're going to get, but secondly, it's going to aid in reflection of the red color, as well as prevent light bleed on the outside. So I recommend a few coats of silver and take your time because it'll, it'll come out real nice if you just spend some time uh, painting on the outside. And then because the Ford script is uh, embossed into the lens, it is very easy to take a pen. I've got like a silver, a silver pen right here and very carefully just run it over the FORD text. Let it dry. You may even want to do shoot, shoot a, a coat of clear, but you can do that after you've painted the red. And this has got a really beautiful uh, finish on this, and this is probably one of the best ones I've done. I used, let me just grab it here. I used this, which is Tester's 1152 Metallic Red. 1152 Metallic Red. And, um, what's weird about this is this is an opaque color, and the way I use this is I don't shake it. I really leave all the metallic at the bottom. And if you don't shake and leave the metallic down here, this becomes a beautiful translucent red. I think it looks great. Um, if you have uh, any other kind of red signal paint, I'm sure it'll work fine. This was all I could find at the, uh, at the model shop when I went, so I've been using this. And I gotta tell you, it came out good. It's hard to see, but there is a bit of a metallic in there and eh, it works fine for me. I'm not, a, not really too worried about that. Again, here we do have the the updated version. These are not the prototypes. These are the production ones. Come here. There we go. So, and I think you can see it pretty darn well, but the FORD script is awesome. And if you look closely, you can see the uh, the fine detail. Overall, uh, in comparison to, I guess, my thumb, it's not really going to help you too well. It's compared to the original. You can see that they are a bit taller. The width is pretty much the same width, but the thickness was kind of surprising to me because I was able to make it quite, quite a bit thinner. Uh, my original design did have wiring uh, coming out of the back and it was just, I was appalled. I'm like, I'm not going to put that on my truck. So I went down this path and, you know, the glow is... It works. You know, it's not as bright as having an LED protruding straight through it that would blind you. This does give you kind of the 1950s six volt uh, red, you know, taillight, uh, which goes. This is one of my few cars that I don't run LED headlights in. This has got the original Tamiya incandescent bulbs, and I really like it because it gives the truck a bit of an older appearance. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, plug these taillights in here and just show you how they look lit up. So I went ahead and plugged in the power source and let's go ahead and fire it up and see how it looks. To make this a little bit easier, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my hand directly over the light. There you go. And what I think is kind of cool about this is that you actually can see the FORD uh, kind of shining, that, that's, I'm sorry, that's actually blocking the light. So again, on, off. There you have it. I think overall it was a, it was a pretty neat upgrade because it's, it not only gives me that look that I originally wanted, but it also gives me working taillights, which uh, for those of you who have seen some of the channels, I'm kind of obsessed with. Uh, so overall, I was pretty content with this one here. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Please subscribe, I've got a lot more stuff coming up. Um, if you're not into the Midnight Pumpkin or some of the other vehicles that I've got, I have a massive upgrade coming to the Sand Scorcher, which I'm hoping will completely reinvent the car. That's gonna be a big one for me. Uh, in the meantime, I've got a whole bunch of little stuff coming up as well. Project Willie's Wheeler is wrapping up, as well as another of my Grasshopper projects. So those will be kind of fun. You can uh, also find me and kind of you know stay up to date with some of my uh, my products on Shapeways, where I have my storefront. These products are all available there. Uh, I'm also on Facebook as well as Instagram. Links are all at the end of this video. And if you like the audio, uh, that has all been supplied to me by a band called Blue Pinto. Uh, a link is also at the end of the video. Their Facebook page is there. They're a fantastic group. I really love their music. So go ahead and check them out. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time. <music>